Friday, everybody. Welcome Yay. to another episode of Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay. Hi. So happy to see you here today. We made it through another week. I know. Thank God. Goodness. <laughs> Thank God. I'm definitely People ready. People can rest. Moms can take sleep in. But, yeah. you know, we're all tired. Although this is a lot of holiday stuff coming at us this weekend. Oh, yeah, I've been wrapping like there's no tomorrow. But anyway, decorating. But yes. that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's good. So today we're going to talk about the power of group healing. Yes. So in recent years, we've seen mm -hmm. healthcare trends um, going towards group healing in addition to one-on-one -on -one therapy as it becomes a rapidly more attractive offer for therapy. That's true. So hate group, to say that, but it's true. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. It can all work together. Group yep. therapy really is just a form of psychotherapy where participants work in groups rather than speaking directly to a one-on-one -on -one therapist. Right. Can I say something here? Yeah. Um, look at AA. It's a group. Yeah. NA, it's a group. And you have this support system, and it really works. It does. It really does work. The steps do. Mm -hmm. So now this is because in the past, and as science is studying this more, all the studies show us how effective these groups can be and that it's a more affordable option for people. That's true. And just for those two reasons alone, and there's loads more reasons we're going to get to as yes. we go through this today, yep. group healing is something we need to take seriously as we consider our own healing journeys. Mm -hmm. And this is why Katie and I have created this master class that we're offering you guys in this show. Mm -hmm. so that we can have a safe space to come together and address our unhealed traumas, learn and grow together on our own healing journey. That's true. And it's cheap. Yeah. It's cheap and it's good. It in really the, is good. In the master class, we come together to really face our unhealed traumas mm -hmm. and turn that pain into purpose. Mm -hmm. And likewise, on Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay, we address every taboo topic. That's to right. To keep the conversation going. Nothing's off the table. Every day on a we daily basis. We might not agree, basis. but nothing's off the table. <laughs> that's, that's good, right? That's good, not yeah. everyone's always going to agree. No. And we need to keep understanding each other and keep learning each other. And we need to get through conflict. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Group healing is really powerful. It is. So in my practice, one of my specialties is eating disorders. And eating disorders is the hardest Mm -hmm. uh, mental issue. I want to say mental disorder because I don't want to. But probably, I think mental it. issue to to overcome. Yes, is a good mental way. issue to deal with. Yeah. Many people die from this, and it is it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. And so, not very many therapists. Uh, this isn't their specialty. But anyways, when ther when not therapists when the eating disorder gets very bad, clients will go into inpatient, which means they go into a medical facility. And when they're there, they always do group therapy as mm -hmm. well as one-on-one -on -one therapy. They'll bring their parents in. They'll they do a group, you know, group therapy just with the people there, etc. And it works. It might take seven yeah. times because that's the usual time that it takes to break an addiction, but it's very powerful. Yeah. So I truly believe in that. Obviously, and like your example with AA before mm -hmm. and GA and. And a, a, a and every other a, a, a. Those group, those groups are super successful. They are. They yeah. are. And it's because you have somebody to depend, to depend on too. And mm -hmm. I want to, I want to share my own experience. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was in college, I went to Berkeley and I don't think I was ready. I was a little, little, a little attached to where I came from. I'm quite ready, <laughs> quite ready for school, but I managed. When I was 19 in a class with 500 people, I just, I said, I thought I was having a panic attack. So I started climbing over everybody and I screamed, I'm having a panic attack. I mean, not a panic attack because I didn't know what it was. I said I was having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Got outside and I was breathing and, and then I lived. And then I kept going to the <laughs> ER. <laughs> I lived, yeah, I know. Kept going to the ER and I was said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I've had like four heart attacks now in a week. And they said, you know, we think you're having panic attacks and here's some medication and please don't come back because, you know, this is taking our time. So anyways, um, I suffered from this. I still went to school and pushed myself because that's the type of person I am, but I suffered every single day. And between my junior and senior year, I thought, I've got to do something. I was going to one-on-one -on -one therapy, and it, it wasn't enough, I have to be honest. Mm -hmm. And so I found this group that specialized in anxiety and panic disorder. Mm -hmm. And I went. And you were supposed to bring people. I'd bring my friends um, or my dad or my mom or whomever. But what it gave me is... I noticed that other people had the same problem and that I wasn't alone because I felt so alone. Yeah. And it wasn't that I didn't tell all of my friends and all of my family that I was having this problem, but 
nobody understood. Well, right. my dad understood, but he didn't even acknowledge it. So, um, so it was so helpful for me to see like, oh, I'm not alone. And then on top of it, people held a mirror up for each other. You yeah. know, they held a mirror up of like, what? look at your trauma, Katie. And I would say, what trauma? And I think what you just hit on is like the biggest, most powerful thing is that you, we all do when we've, we're having traumas or a disorder or something, we feel so alone, mm -hmm. so weird, mm -hmm. so not normal. Mm -hmm. I put quotes on that because mm -hmm. it is totally normal and mm -hmm. it's not weird, but mm -hmm. we feel that way. That's right. And when you hit a group and suddenly it's not just one-on-one -on -one with a therapist, but it's 10 people, 20 people, mm -hmm. 100 people, if it's yeah. an online group, whatever the right. numbers may be, and you realize other people have had these experiences. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel so much better. And especially, I'm sorry to say, I'm a therapist, and I can say that I had a really bad therapist. So <laughs> I had a really bad therapist. Yeah. She wasn't helping Sometimes me. Sometimes it's hit or miss, so you have to keep trying to oh, find that right oh, person. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very much so. Yeah. And she didn't normalize the situation for me. She made me feel like a freak. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of sad, but it was a long it time ago. Sad. But, but so, you found the group. But I found the group, and yeah. they helped me normalize, and I found a dog, and my dog yeah. went to school with me, and I was able to go off my medication, and it was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I had a similar experience. Um, I, as a domestic violence survivor and suffering from CPTSD mm -hmm. and battered women's syndrome, sorry. Um, I spent years in th just one-on-one -on -one therapy, and I love my therapist. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't, again, because I was feeling so alone, mm -hmm. right? And you don't open up in that way right. in one-on-one -on -one therapy. I wasn't getting... Especially with battered women needed. syndrome. And I yeah. started um, doing some research and I found mm -hmm. this um, narcissistic abuse recovery program for mm -hmm. 30 days. I think we had over 100 women in the group and mm -hmm. it literally changed my life. That's amazing. Yeah, and that's why I was so adamant in putting together this master class with you mm -hmm. and creating this safe space for healing because it was so powerful for me. It sounds like you had a really powerful experience. Yes, I did. And, you know, the benefits of it are just amazing. Mm -hmm. So I want to go over those a little bit. But. Yeah, and I, I just want to say something. I have a, a plethora of books on PTSD. I deal with trauma all the time. And I have all these programs. And I read Lindsay's program, and I was like, oh, my God, these are better than any program that I have. I would totally use this in my practice. So, and we're not just saying that to sell this. It's true. We want to it's bring really it, you know, That's why we're offering it for free. We yes. want to bring this healing out to everybody and right. give you guys this opportunity. That's right. And I, I just need to know I would not be a part of this if I didn't believe in it. Yeah. So, okay, one of the biggest strengths that I've noticed in the group healing, I don't know if you've noticed this too, because okay. this is kind of a fun one. Yeah. But I love... <clears throat> You know, in a group, sometimes some people click a little bit faster. Some mm -hmm. participants just kind of, they have their aha moment that mm -hmm. much faster. They yeah. kind of get they it. They get it faster. Yeah, whereas sometimes other participants don't. And I find when you're in a group, those participants that are doing it actually rub off and motivate the ones that are struggling to actually get there faster. Right, right. Have you found right. that? I, well, yes. And people that are more introverted, that are more shy, I'm more shy. Okay. I know you don't believe it, but I am. <laughs> And so when I see people starting to speak their truth and tell their story, then That's that amazing. gives me more confidence to finally come out. I might be the one that waits five sessions, yeah. but eventually I come out because I feel, I, I get, I, they give me power. They give me strength yeah. to be able to be they honest. They face your fears mm -hmm. and your um, traumas with you. Yes. And that just, it feels amazing. I yes. love that part of it. I agree. So, okay, another benefit, and this is different for everybody, but mm -hmm. just something that I think is that um, when you're going into a group therapy, you have a little bit more ease. You're a little bit more comfortable because all of the attention is not going to be just on you. I agree. And it's kind of hard when you're jumping into one-on-one. -on -one. What do I say? What do mm -hmm. I think? Oh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. She's going to think I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, but maybe, you know, you just spiral out. Whereas if you're in a group setting, other people are or, um, participating with you. And I just feel like... Um, Whereas with a therapist, since I'm a therapist, I'm focusing on that one person and I'm asking questions right. and I'm, I'm digging deep. And some people don't want to dig deep and they definitely don't want to be the center of attention. So I get that, wanting yeah. to go to a group. Just a little perk <laughs> and I think, you know, it works, it works really well with both. Yes. Having both. I agree. Um, this one is going to be short and sweet, but okay. this, this uh, benefit is that you create lifelong bonds with these people. That's true. You're in situations, like you think about extreme situations and the people that you experience those will and with, and you realize that you do become closer with them on a different level. Yeah. And when you're in a group healing 
um, together, mm -hmm. like specifically for group healing, mm -hmm. you do like those people from that course that I took, I still talk to talk them. Talk to, that's amazing. I mean, I, I hate to bring this up, but it's a reality. And I don't know if I brought this up before because whatever, it's Friday and I'm a little tired. <laughs> but school shootings, and you know, yeah. it's something that we're going to address because as moms, I don't know about you, but I'm terrified every yep. single day that my yep. children go to school. But I have I watch these things on Columbine and the Sandy Hook yeah. situation and, and and all of the the Florida, um, and you know these these parents that have lost their children, which is just the most horrible thing in my opinion that can happen to you. They form these groups and they support each other. Yep. And honestly, I don't think I don't many, think they get through. It without I don't that. think many of them would be alive without that. Yeah. So and I know the students form those same groups. They do. So they it's do. Not just parents, yeah. But, Really, everybody after a traumatic experience. It, yes, and unless you're going like to isolate that. like I did, which is the wrong thing to do. No, <laughs> but you know we all handle trauma differently. So yeah, yeah. no, can't judge. Now, um, just real quick, I did want to touch on the confidentiality, right, of group therapy right. because I know sometimes you can be nervous sharing things. Do you want me to talk about um, that? Yeah. So we do ask that people um, keep confidentiality. That what what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know what mm -hmm. I mean. And so we do ask that. Um, most people actually do comply with that. And, yeah. you know, we just hope that they're not going to share your story. And yeah. But that is that is something that we do hold a safe space when you enter yes. our group. Mm -hmm. And it is said and known that it is completely confidential. We don't share your information. We and definitely And nobody don't share else your... should do that as well. Right. That's part of the group. It's, and, that's yeah. why we're coming together. We it's hope a safe that spot. it's in goodwill. And, you know. Yeah. So... This is a little Wait bit of the power of group healing. Money. Yes. Money. Hate to say it, but oh, it's life. You know what? That is another big benefit. Mm -hmm. That's very true mm -hmm. in that it is more affordable. One-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one therapy is going to run you one or pretty pretty. $165 for price. 50 minutes, I'll tell you. <laughs> and then 250 yeah. if you live in L.A. Yeah. And then I could go on. And whereas a lot of, um, or with our program, uh, if you want to do the seven-week program, it's right. cheap. It's far more affordable than doing seven or eight weeks of one-on-one -on -one counseling in another group. Right. You know? And some, a lot of times, I will tell you, I see clients two, three times a week, and mm -hmm. some of them need to come in here five times a week. So yeah. that adds up. Yeah. It gets yeah. really expensive. And that's why I think it's important to find a community also, mm -hmm. so that it's not just one person. You have a group that mm -hmm. you can turn to mm -hmm. when you need. So. And I will say, even as a therapist, sometimes I, I match people up, especially yeah. with eating disorders when somebody's really, really sick. I will, if it's okay with the other person, obviously we have to talk about confidentiality, but if it's okay with the other person that's that's healed, that's a lot more um, progressed, in, yeah. did I say that right? Progressed yeah. in their healing, I have them talk to the person that's really, really sick. And that is really, really powerful. Yeah. So Because we're human at the end of the day. Our bodies were built to survive and our minds were built for community. Mm -hmm period plain and simple we can't do it alone we're groups yep. we're like you know you do dogs it. so go get signed up for that master class yes we're excited to see you on monday yes. at 10 o'clock right? yes so we're gonna have it it's gonna be monday through friday 10 o'clock we do have um on thursday and we'll let you know yeah we might be playing with the time a little bit down there probably gonna be like 12 ish yeah. but i'm sure you can join we'll, we'll get it all sorted out but yes. um we're gonna have there's free worksheets you guys that mm -hmm. have an amazing amount of healing capacity in them. So make sure you head over to Malibu Mama Loves to get signed up. Yes. Um, and give this video a like. Yes. And happy <laughs> Friday. Good party. Am happy Friday, you guys. That? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.